Uh, this video is showing all the little pieces of the coal self and loader I'll be making here. You saw this motor part here. What I've done is built a bunch of these. These are going to be where the coal is. It sits in here, drops it down in here, and runs it on out, moves it down to here. The scoops pick it up, move it up to here, dump it out. The conveyor is going to have to move it over here into the conveyor here, which will tilt and pan so it can be offloaded off to the side of the ship. This is the tilt and pan mechanism. And this is what's going to be sitting in it. This is the motor that drives it. And this is that conveyor itself. I'll be using GT2 belt with a inner tube across here. Sitting on these. Being driven by gears front and back. Keep it in line. What I've done so many times around here, just try and fix, try and fix. Started off having a servo like this. Move this out back and forth. But the, the arc of the servo was so much it wouldn't really go the whole distance. So what I ended up doing is putting a brass thing on here so the and putting the ball on that end so that way the ball will move back and forth in here as the arc moves the ball will be able to move back and forth while getting all jammed up I've done a couple of those that way so I'm just sort of fixing them I got a hole here I filled in so I need to drill it out so I can put the ball in there I haven't drilled out all the rest of them so they're just set to go what I have here this is the control mechanism I'm going to be using this will open all the gates one at a time and this is buttons to activate the little buzzer on there to try and keep the coal going this will close all the gates. These turn on the conveyor systems. And this turn all of them off. This is like an alert system. So this one moves that offloading conveyor up and down. And this is actually a rotating thing that can move it back and forth. This is a emergency stop turns everything off. The little lights here will come on one at a time when you press that one on, that one come on. Keep track of which one you're opening up. So that's about it. We got lots of stuff here, lots of parts laying all over. Little pieces of wood all cut up. Found out my ship's going to be a little bit longer than I thought it was. Going to have to extend the front out to make room for the little thing I'm going to make to lift up and put down the covers that go over these and you'll notice this ended up being way back here so the ship being about six twelve inches longer it just keeps growing and growing oh well the the walters kit was 36 inches this is right now it's 53 it'll be 60 at least time we get it done Everything changes, everything keeps going and back and forth. Yeah, that I saw in that other video the Earl things didn't work out for me. So uh, here we go with this. Let me work on this and see if I can get this one working. Here we go.